Hello there peeps, I nearly forgot to do my own roundup. So I'm hoping to keep it short and sweet. I'm just gonna, I've done a couple of videos based, you know, individual videos, um, because I thought that they deserved individual um, focus. And so, yeah, I'm just going to go through, oh, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, share and um, engage with my wonderful subscribers. Okay, so we have um, DiCaprio. Um, he's launched a 12 million coronavirus relief fund. Taylor Swift is donating money as well, and so is Rihanna. So they're all putting funds together for their fans to help them um, get through this, this crisis. Um, jobless in America is now 6.448 million in the United States of America. That cruise ship that I spoke about yesterday, um, yesterday, um, Fort Lauderdale wasn't going to accept them. Florida was not going to accept that ship. Now they've decided to, so thank God they're not just floating around in the bloody sea. I could imagine what a relief that is. So they I don't know, they did some kind of negotiations. And so Florida is accepting them. So but the but the foreign nationals on that boat are being put on a charter plane and sent back. Goodness knows to where. Apparently they're being told to pack their bags. So, so whoever went on that ship and was a foreign national. They ain't getting back in to America. Can you imagine that? Um, Los Angeles mayor urges 4 million, his 4 million um, residents to wear masks. It's so important. Like I said, you know, even though it doesn't protect, even though you're not protecting yourself, if everybody wears a mask, whoever has got it is not going to spread it to you. And if you don't like the silly, if you don't like those silly, what they call silly masks, you can be creative. You can use scarves. You can use anything. Some of them look quite menacing, actually, with some of these scarves. But you can be quite creative in scarves and just do one to suit your um, personality. But at least if everybody wears a, a mask or a scarf over their nose and their mouth, it will inhibit the spread of the disease. That I can't stress that more enough. I go to work and I kind of think to myself, you know, I wish everybody would wear a mask. But I'm fortunate I'm in isolation in an office, so I don't worry too much unless I go into the kitchen or something like that. Um, a national lockdown now in the USA is forecasted. The claim is that... Um, the virus is likely to kill between 100,000 and 240,000 Americans. I don't know how they come to those calculations, but those are the calculations. As of Wednesday, 213,000 Americans tested positive with, coronavi with coronavirus and 5,000 have died from it already in America. Uh, government, Governor... The government admits to needing foreign NHS workers now to put their necks on the line. They want to come in and help, basically, but it's temporary, and they must go straight back afterwards. I mean, if, pe if people um, want to help the NHS um, get through this crisis, you know, there's one woman, she's saying that, you know, they should be allowed to stay, but... I mean, if you know that you're coming over for a crisis, surely you wouldn't expect to say you'll just come over for the experience and then you would go back. And I think that is fair because as long as you know you're not expected to stay, you're not going to have any expectations. Um, so BTEE, Virgin Media and Sky strike a deal to make high, to make huge changes to our broadband. I don't know how true this is, but they're supposed to give us unlimited downloads to help everybody stay connected. But then they say that, and on the other hand, they say they're going to stop people from, they're going to slow down um, games, PS2, um, and stuff like that, so everybody can get connected. So there's kind of two mixed messages. I'm just hoping that they're not all getting together um, 
you know, to prepare us, you know, once everything goes down and everything is so slow and people get frustrated. And then who comes in on their white horse? 5G. You know what I mean? I hope it's not about that. But, um, yeah, apparently they're all coming together and um, trying to keep us connected. Um, they've struck a deal to remove all download limits on landline broadband services to keep people online through the crisis. I don't know if that applies to me, to be honest. Mind you, I don't really download. I just listen to YouTube. Uh, major telephone companies are involved are BT, EE, Virgin Media, Hyperoptic, GigaClear and OpenReach. OpenReach includes Sky, TalkTalk Talk, and Gamma. For those of you who are in England, um, there's a recruitment drive uh, for 500 people to man the call centres of these major telephone companies. Um, they're asking you not to call 111 unless you can hardly breathe. Well, I guess unless you're practically dying because the 111 lines are just overwhelmed. Um, it's vital, but they're saying it's vital for people to stay connected online. So um, all the providers claim to be empathetic to people who are unable to pay their bills. Uh, because of their job losses due to COVID-19. All the providers claim they will remove all data allowance caps on all current fixed broadband services. But please inquire what they're offering. Because, you know, on the one hand, they might say, OK, they're doing this. And then you find you're tied into a contract. And your it extends. We don't know whether this is for a three month trial. We don't know what it is. I just saw it in the newspaper. I didn't read the whole thing. I know it's out there, so I'm letting you know. But it's up to you to do your research and find out how long the package is for, what happens after the package expires, and so forth. Um, I got the impression that those who have the landline would automatically qualify for unlimited downloads, but I might be wrong. So YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney have pledged to drop the quality of streaming videos to try to keep everyone connected during the lockdown. So that's not going to be very good if the picture quality isn't all that great. It's going to spoil your enjoyment, isn't it? Um, Sony has limited download speeds for games um, and, and, down, and patches on the PS3 and PS4. Um, apparently now there is an official nationwide lockdown in the UK. The police didn't know apparently until it was announced on the news. Um, and like I said, the COVID virus um, bill is in force. Please, please be careful. Um, apparently in Shenzhen, China, they're banning um, their residents, banning the Chinese from eating cats and dogs. Um, apparently the majority don't eat them, the majority are not interested in them, but there is a minority that do, and it's now banned as of the 30th of May, I believe. 30 million dogs a year are killed across Asia for meat, says the Humane Society International. The new law will come into force on the 1st of May. Apparently it's not common practice. The majority say they have never done it and don't want to. So it's not like everybody's eating cats and dogs. We always hear about, oh yeah, they're eating cats and dogs. It's not a wide practice. Highly skilled migrant workers stranded between jobs with no income after the Home Office closed all of its fingerprint offices overnight. How the hell are people supposed to um, continue their claims? And when biometric is one of the fundamental parts of the process. So all these people, they've got no money, they're in between jobs and they can't process anything. I'll tell you something, I always say it's timing, you know couple of weeks ago they would have been all right now 
they can't do what they wanted to do. I just wanted to reiterate uh, the government has passed the new Coronavirus Act 2020. Most of you know that. Um, it sets out new regulations. And if you're caught breaking any of the regulations, which I'm going to outline below, apart from what I said in the Coronavirus Bill, um, you can be caught with an on-the-spot fine of £30. It increases to £60 if you don't pay it within 14 days. And then it doubles every time you re-offend with a £960 upper limit. And um, offending, let alone re-offending. Yeah, so I hope you're not caught because it can be expensive at a time when you don't have any money. Um, it's hard to tell people to stay inside when Boris Johnson says, oh, you can go for a walk, you can walk your dog, you can ride your bike, you can um, go out with two people, you can go out with members of your family. It's really hard when I say stay inside, but you know that 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 rule only applies to certain. It's almost like it's an entrapment. It's almost like they're expecting people to follow that. And then when you get police on the street who are not in a good mood and who have problems with racism and people of colour, they decide to enact a different kind of law. Well, it's not even a different kind of law. They can actually enact the law they've always wanted which is one of power and they can abuse that power if they feel so inclined i'm not saying they all will but you're going to have the minority that will so that's the only reason i'm saying please stay inside i was watching a video today um, with some Jamaican guys and the police had a guy and was arresting him because they're just saying they're not going inside. They don't care, I make them go inside. And I don't think it quite computes how dangerous the virus is. It hasn't computed. I don't think it will compute until members of their family or their friends die from it. I, and then it'll be too late. So, um, yeah, they're still refusing to comply by the social distancing. Not everyone. Of course, you've got a lot of people who are complying by it. But there's a minority of people who are not complying. So, um, if you... And also, what I didn't understand about this regulation... It says if you're caught on the spot, you get a £30 fine and it increases by £60 with an upper limit of 960 But then it says if you don't comply, the police can section 8, under section 8, paragraph 4, use reasonable force if necessary in the exercise of power. What are they saying here? Are they saying, I mean, if they're going to give you a fine, what is the reasonable force for? Unless they're asking you for the money and you don't have it on you and you've breached it more than one time. But even then, why would they be using reasonable force for a fine? Anyway, they've got the power to use reasonable force for a fine if you haven't paid it. So just be aware of, just be aware of that. Um, the police authority has been expanded. Lord Sumption's video about the powers exercised by Derbyshire police. Um, I wonder if they would be concerned if it was Metropolitan Police. Like I said, you know, it was in the Peak District, which is, uh, I'm not going to say upmarket, but it's pretty decent. It's a massive national park. And they're making a big fuss because the police enforced, well, just doing their job, basically. But because um, these people were in Derbyshire and, you know, they put ink in the Blue Lagoon, they're creating a big stink about it. So Lord Sumption is saying, oh, no, they shouldn't be, um, they, they, they've got too much power. They're, you know, they're abusing their power because they're shoving people on. I, you know, sometimes I 
I just wish that the police treated everybody fairly because then, or not necessarily even fairly, but the same, because then people who don't understand what many black people go through would understand. Like in this situation, you know, these people are just going for a leisurely walk. It's in Derbyshire, it's in a reasonable neighbourhood. They don't expect drones to be monitoring them. They expect to be excluded from all of this. They don't even expect to be on lockdown. So for me, I kind of think, okay, there is an element of parity. You know, there is something that is running through the whole gamut. So it applies to everyone. But it's just that all I'm concerned about is that we do have police officers who, when they've had a bad day, they are not the best people to confront or even rationalise or liaise or negotiate with. It's just not the day. It's just not the time or the day. Anyway, um, some councils are telling shops to stop selling Easter eggs because they could not consider an essential item. Have you ever heard such a load of tosh? But there again, like I said in the bill, it doesn't it doesn't outline the word essential apparently. That's according to D to D T D L R. I do love their channel. The way they articulate what's happening and they give you the sources and they are so concise and clear. Uh, anyway, ex exercise, what else is there? Exercise, um, section six, paragraph one. You are not allowed to leave the house without reasonable excuse. Now, that is what Boris says. But paragraph two, section B of the coronavirus bill, a reasonable excuse is the need to take exercise, either alone or with members or, no, hold on a minute. A reasonable excuse is the need to take exercise, either alone or with members of the household. Currently, there is no limit on how long or how many times in the day and you can do you can do this for or how far you are from your home. But that's what I mean. It's you know, when they when it says this in the bill, that currently no limit on how long or how many times a day you can do this for, or how far you are from your home. And then the police decide what everybody's heard, which is what Boris says. He's placed these limitations and restrictions. You just better listen to Boris as opposed to this bill. Because the police ain't, ain't watching the bill. They ain't, they ain't reading all those 329 pages. I can assure you the police are not reading 329 pages of the bill including the notes. So they're just going to go by what Boris Johnson says. And so you better go by what Boris Johnson says. I'm telling you what it says in the bill, but they're not going to go by the bill and you're not going to be privy to the bill. And even if you were privy to the bill, can you imagine going up to the police and say, oh, in section um, two, blah, 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 it says such and such. There's, there's you clever little shit. Who do you think you are? Poof. You know what I mean? They're not going to appreciate you telling them what their job is. They just ain't. So there's also currently no limit on using your car to get to the place you want to exercise. But once again, that is at the officer's discretion. Has the officer had a bad day? Section six, a reasonable excuse is the need to buy necess necessities. This is deliberately misleading. You might defend yourself by saying, but the law says, but like what home office, but like, remember um, that lady from Ukraine, when she said, oh, we were ordered to stay home and isolate if you're over 70, that was 85 year old. What did the home office official say to her? That doesn't apply to you. That only applies to UK citizens. So similarly, they might say to you, you might say, oh yeah, about this law and that law. If you're not a UK citizen, it won't apply to you. 
So essential items includes basic necessity, which is food from food retailers, including food markets, supermarkets, convenience stores, corner shops, offer licenses and licensed stores selling alcohol, including breweries and news agents. And the word essential, according to TBLR, is not mentioned anywhere. So you should be able to buy anything as long as it is in stock. But there are restrictions because people are going crazy. I still don't get why alcohol is considered essential. And breweries. And what's the point of breweries? Are breweries pubs? Probably pubs. What's the point in having breweries considered essential if people can't even go in them? What is the point of that? Maybe down the line the law will enforce what they deem essential, but currently it is not written into law. We can't blame the police for taking what Boris says as opposed to what the Coronavirus Act stipulates. Because like I said, it's 329 pages, they're under pressure to get things moving, and they ain't got time to sit at home after a stressful day's work wondering whether or not they've got the virus, wondering whether or not they've got too close and personal with an offender, to be sitting and reading 329 pages of the Coronavirus Act or Bill. So everyone is getting confusing mixed signals in the regulations. Are they expecting you to read it? There are There is no restriction on daily exercise, but Johnson said in his briefing that you can only leave the house once a day. So make sure you do only leave the house once a day because if they haven't got drones, they've got neighbours that you may have offended at some point who are going to report you. They've got a hotline where neighbours can call and tell the police you've been out more than once. And unless you're doing two shifts at work, you better not be. So is the ambiguity to get some people off the hook and place some people on it? You are allowed a social gathering of two, but you can only exercise alone. Now, it's a bit silly, isn't it? Not unless they think there's something in the sweat and it might flick over when they lift up their arm. Who knows? So um, we've got overzealous policing or confused policing. Liberal democracy, which will disappear under martial law, that the police enforces the law and the law. I don't know what that says. That the, oh, liberal democracy, which will disappear under martial law, that policies enforces the law, and I don't even know what that is. The police enforce the law. Anyway, public trust in um, has already been lost. And yeah, well, I'm just babbling on now. So that's all for now. That is your roundup for the 2nd of April. So have a wonderful evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.